Replacing the stock levers on a bike is a cheap way to improve ergonomics and feel for the bike, especially if your stock levers offer no adjustment. Tools you'll need are a wrench, lubricant, grease, flathead screwdriver and allen keys. We'll do the easy one first, the brake lever. Unscrew the retaining bolt from the lever. Spray grease on the pivot bearing and inside the new lever before putting it in place. Put the new lever in place and screw it back in. Turn the bike on and pump the brake lever to ensure it's working correctly. Inspect the front calipers too to ensure they're not rubbing. Depending on whether your bike has clip-ons or handlebars, the process for removing a clutch lever will vary, but take off the necessary parts to access the clutch cable. Upon removing your old clutch lever, you'll note that it's very difficult to put the clutch cable's head back into the new lever. Don't try and force it as you'll stretch the cable. Instead, head to the other end of the cable to get more free play. Remove the cable from the holder to give you plenty of free play, allowing you to put the cable into the new lever much easier. Place the head of the clutch cable in your new lever and apply grease to it as well. Also, spray lubricant on the end of the clutch cable that enters the lever. Put everything back together in the reverse order of how you took it apart. Go back to the other end of the cable and apply grease and lubricant here too. Reattach the cable clamps. Once the clutch cable is back in position, go back to your levers and tighten or untighten the clutch cable adjuster until it's at a position that feels right. Start your bike in neutral to check that the clutch is engaging and disengaging correctly when you modulate the lever. 